Hello. <laughs> oh, I've just had such a lovely shower and I've put on my anti-aging cream because you know, I'm getting older. Um, how are you guys? I am going to be filming a get ready with me this morning. I thought I would just um, do like a chatty get ready with me, show you how I do my makeup, show you how I do my hair. This is me fresh out the shower. Like I said, I've just put some face cream on. Um, but I haven't done anything else, so I'm going to do it all with you. So first up, I'm going to put on my base. So I'm sure you guys have seen this um, advertised before. I don't even know how to say it. Il Maquillage? Il Maquillage? This product is actually really good. I thought I'd try it out and I've had it for maybe about a year now. I have the number 60 woke up like this and it's so cool. You do like a quiz online. And then it like sends you a um, foundation that matches your skin tone perfectly. I'm going to show you how good this is. So what I do here is I just put one pump onto, I usually apply things with my fingers, but then the other day I started applying it with an actual brush and I realized it was actually very good. <laughs> so look at this. I'm just going to put a bit in each of my areas. Like I don't know if you'll think it looks like a really good match to begin with, but honestly, it really is. What do you think? Do you think it's a good match? I think it's a very, very good match. And I can't believe how spot on they get it from you answering a quiz about your skin tone and things. I'll, um, I'll link their website down below so you can do it yourself. But honestly, I think this is about £35. But yeah, it's just a really, really good foundation. So I just put quite a thin layer of that on. But I think it just kind of evens my skin tone out because I have got quite sort of red patches in different areas of my face. So that's what I do. Put a little bit down my neck like this and then I'm done. And then once I've done that, because I have bags, I just like to get my concealer. This is a Bobbi Brown concealer. And then I just pop a little bit under here like that. And then I've got a little spot here and there. And then I just sort of like go to any red areas. As you can see, I don't put loads on there, but I just put enough to kind of give me a bit of a coverage. So I go back with the brush I've just applied my foundation with. And instead of like dragging it around my face, I just kind of like pat it like this. And I feel like I get the best results from that. That's my base done. This is an eyebrow stencil. Um, it's so good. I've been using eyebrow stencils for quite a while now and they are honestly just, they, they make your makeup application process so quick and easy. So this is the one that I found was sort of best shaped to my eyebrow. So what I do is I find my arch where this lift is, where the arch is, and I match it to that and then I'll show you because I do kind of have to like draw in a little bit extra of an eyebrow at the end, but it's so, so good. And like I said, so quick and easy and you can get like two identical brows. This was just from Amazon, I think it was about eight pounds and it comes with loads and loads of stencils as well. So this is gonna be quite tricky actually doing this while I'm, cause I need to kind of, let me come forward. Hopefully I can see what I'm doing, but I'm not sure if I can. Oh gosh, guys, this is actually quite tricky doing this on camera. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. We'll see. <laughs> I think I might have missed a bit here, but I can't really see properly and I'm doing it into the camera to show you. But anyway, let's do the other brow. And then let me just pad. Oh gosh, this is difficult doing this into the camera. Is that right? I then go in with this Beauty Pie Arcology Eyebrow um, Sculpting Gel. This is really, really good. And this is actually what I used to use just by itself in my eyebrows before I got the stamp. Uh, so, not done the best job here to be <laughs> crying out loud, guys. I've done an awful job. Usually I do my brows a lot better when I'm in the mirror and I can see what I'm doing. But as you can see, this is just kind of like, I push the hairs up and into place. Holy moly, I've completely missed my blinking brow here. Oh, I'm not, I'm not showing you a very good um, example of that eyebrow stamp, I might just have to sort this one brow out a little bit. Right, okay, so now what I'm gonna go in with is a little bit of blush, not blusher, um, bronzer. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. I've just got this, this is actually a powder brush. <laughs> 
I use all the right tools. And then I just kind of go like that. <laughs> and sometimes I don't know if I can notice a difference. I kind of put a little bit up here, a bit under my eyes, and the bronzer is done. I've actually had to just put the blinds down a little bit because the sun is so, so shiny. Now I'm going to go in with my blusher. So I use the Bobbi Brown Fresh Melon on my cheeks and I literally just go like this. I'm so technical when I explain how I do things. Just like that. Okay, next I shall start with my eyes. So again, I've got a Bobbi Brown eye palette. You can see which ones I use the most. So I go in with this one as like into my eyebrows like that and it, I feel like it's like a raises my eyebrow a little bit, um, gives them a little bit more definition. Um, I think that's what you're meant to do, but you know, I can't be too sure. But I put a bit up there and then I also put a little bit into this area of my eye to kind of try and brighten up my eye before going in with this darker shade here. And then I just put that into the crease of my eyelid, just kind of quite roughly because I'm gonna blend it in a minute. Then I get a little um, eye sweep blending brush and I, like I said, just literally blend it sort of up to, not, not to the top of my brow, like um, where I put the lighter shade, but I just kind of like blend it into that lighter shade a little bit and then down over the rest of my eyelid too. Finally, with the um, sort of eyelid area, I have got this. This, I don't actually, oh, I think this is actually from Beauty Pie, and it's, I'll link everything down below of what I'm using, but this is just an eyeshadow 101, and it's like a creamy, a creamy kind of pencil. So I, I literally just go over the top of my lid here by the, um, eyelash line and then I go underneath as well. I don't know if you can see the difference. I feel like it's giving me a little bit of a, like a little bit of eyeliner, but not harsh. Um, so yeah, because it kind of blends in with the other brown that I've got there, but what do you think? Which one's nicer? I think this one looks fresher when you don't have it on, but the other one looks like a little bit more, like you made a bit more of an effort. Okay, last thing to do on the eyes is just my mascara. This is called Sky High by Maybelline. It's like eight pounds of mascara and it's really good. This is what the wand looks like. And it just goes on really, really nicely. So I love mascara so much. I like just put a little coat on first of all. I do top and bottom eyelashes. And then what I do is I like go down on my lashes and then up again to give them like a really generous coating to make them nice, like appear nice and thick. Okay, so that is the one where I've done like the top and up again and then that's the one where I've just done a kind of thin coat of it. So I feel like these look a lot thicker and more voluptuous. Lastly, I just go in with this little lip stuff. I think, oh, this is actually from Zara. This is a nourishing jelly. It is, Color Swell, it's a lip oil. So I just, I mean, I know it's this color, like it looks like it's gonna be bright, but it's really not at all. I just put a little bit on. Tastes a bit like sweets. <laughs> Smells a bit like sweets, I haven't tasted it. Bit of that on and then my face is done. My hair is so thin <laughs> that it actually dries really quite quickly. So that's why I have to kind of keep the towel on because I use the um, Dyson Airwrap. Your hair's meant to be, well, it's meant to actually be damp for it, but mine's gonna be wet. But that's fine, because I'm not using the, um, the curlers straight away. Okay, so like I said, I use my Dyson Airwrap, gosh, that needs a clean, um, for my hair. I've had this for ages. This is like the first Airwrap they brought out. The great thing about this is it dries your hair so, so quickly. And as I'm quite cack-handed, I can kind of curl it and give myself lift at the root while I am blow drying it. So let's go. I kind of like bring the brush up so that I really get as much lift at the root as possible. I feel like because my hair is so thin, it needs all the help it can get. Right, got the second layer down. I'm just gonna do exactly the same.
do is I unclip this and I get the Dyson curlers and I just go around a little bit just to give my hair a little bit of a wave. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose what I'm going to wear for today and then I'm going to show you my outfit. Okay, so here is my outfit. So I just got these jeans from Zara yesterday. I've been looking for some dark jeans for such a long time now. These are a bootleg cut. They're, this is my vest today. Um, they're nice and high-waisted. I'll try, yeah, they're brand new. So I'll link them down below so you guys can see. But they're just, I feel like they're really, really flattering. And because, you guys know, I say this quite often, this is my biggest area. I feel like having boot cut, not skinny, like I feel like skinny just accentuates that this is my big part but this way wearing bootleg it's sort of like goes out here then in at the knee and then out again so I feel like it's a lot more flattering so yeah these are what I've got on and then I've just got these little cream booties on as well um, I love those I've just got a tiny little heel they're super comfy they are from well, I think they're actually from Zara too but a little while ago then I mean, I wear this so often. I love this jumper so much. This is actually also from Zara. Um, I think I got it before Christmas though, so they might not have it anymore, but I'll link it if I can. Um, really love it, nice turtleneck. It's really nice. Feels like it's a really nice, it's sort of expensive fabric, but actually it was, I think, about 35 pounds. So I love this so much. I'm just gonna get my coat and hat and scarf because it's absolutely freezing, and then I'll show you um, like my outfit in full, but can you guys see that my hair is kind of sort of settled down a little bit and because I put that bit of a wave into it, it's just given me a little bit more texture than if it was just straight and I feel like when I wash my hair, my colour looks so much better. Um, but yeah, I really love my hair short like this. I'm so pleased I cut it. But let me get my scarf, my hat and my coat and show you the final outfit. So here is my final outfit. So I got this hat from... ASOS actually, and then this scarf, my friend gave it to me for Christmas, and then this coat is Zara as well. So yeah, this is me for the day. We are just about to head on out now to have some brunch, and I feel really good. I feel like I, yeah, this is just me. Like, I feel like my hair's nice and washed. I feel like this one eyebrow is still a bit dodgy <laughs> from doing it into the camera with you guys. So yeah, this is pretty much my routine apart from the hair washing every morning. And um, it, it doesn't take me long at all. Maybe it takes me 20 minutes in total to get ready. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. And let me know if you want to see more because obviously I'm no professional. <laughs> But I think that's pretty much most of us, to be honest with you. Like, I think most of us just want to see a simple routine and a simple makeup routine that we can actually follow along with. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I am super hungry now, so I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.